Hey guys, I'm Missy Buck, president of Miss Inc. And we are here for another marvelous, we'll say Marketing Monday. I have a really good friend of mine here. I've known him for way too long. Um, <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a long time. Yes. We, I'm so happy to have you guys here today. We're going to be sharing tips on visual branding for social media. So if you're one of those people out there that you're like, okay, I have my social media account, trying to figure out what to post, but now I need to figure out how to make that post look good these are your guys all right these are the people that we're going to talk to today we're going to get some tips from them to help you really explode your social media growth using their visual branding tips but first i'm going to let them introduce yourself so we got lewis barrios here he is the founder of wolf clan media all right and then we have victor over here gosa gosa how it was gosa. Gosa. gosa i don't know sorry <laughs> gringa <laughs> over here <laughs> he is a partner and director over at wolf clan media so go ahead and introduce yourself guys tell us a little bit about yourselves and then we'll get into the today's tips so my name is Luis Luis Miguel Barrios I'm the founder of Wolf Clan Media um, I'm also uh, the graphic designer for the company um, been in the design industry for about 11 years plus um, I want to say that Missy actually is uh, a mentor for me she's actually the one that pushed me into this uh in this industry so thank you yes 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 <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time ago but yeah it was it was a long time yeah. I've known you since I was 18 years old so wow yeah, we're not going to do the math. I'm no, not no, no. telling you guys how old I am. I'm not doing that math. I'm just going to say it's been long enough. <laughs> Well, I'm Victor. Um, recently became a partner in Wolf Clan Media. I have an extensive background in marketing. Um, worked with several big event agencies out in South Florida, um, prior creative agency, and I'm a local artist as well. And yeah. Super awesome. I think I could tell by your sunglasses <laughs> <laughs> that you're an artist. I try. I, I should rock my glasses too. Yeah, what's up with that? I have my, know, right? My she, business attire, though. Oh, you're in business attire. <laughs> now I got Thank the red jeans. That. I got the red jeans, though. <laughs> All right. So tell us a little bit about Wolf Clan. We know what you guys are. How we you started to touch on how you got founded, but just tell us really quickly your story, how you got here, what you guys do, what your passion is, and then we're gonna get into those tips because Definitely. I think we. I need a refresher myself, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Wolf Clan was uh, uh founded in 2017. Um, it was uh, my cousin Diego Val and I. We we started the company with another. Okay, wait, partner. back up. Did you say Diego Val? Diego Val. Diego Val from The Voice. Diego. Yes, Diego Val from The Voice. Yes. Diego Val, it's like a superstar musician <laughs> yes. in Yes, he was supposed to be here, but he had to fly to LA. He's actually filming. Diego. Uh, <laughs> What are you doing to, to me? To oh, he needs to I'm get sorry. back to Miami and he's to work. He's in LA. Yes, he's in LA filming a movie right now. For our little show. Okay, so, when you come back to Miami, Diego, you're coming uh, on this show. Sorry. So, okay. so yeah, so we, we started the company <laughs> back in 2017. Like any other business, it was rough at the beginning. You know, um, he had to travel to the Peru to um, film a, a novella, which was a soap opera. And he left me here running the company. So it was, it was you know, a little bit rough. Um, he had to step down. Mm -hmm. I continued the company and um, eventually it, it outgrew. Um, we started with the nightlife industry um, where I'm, we're doing uh, flyers and, and digital stuff for like a bunch of DJs and artists and all that stuff. Um, and now we're here. Now, now we're it. here after so long, you know, hard work. You know what I mean? It, only a business is not. I mean, easy. you were sending me stuff at one o'clock in the morning last night. I'm like, does this oh, guy yeah, sleep? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What's the deal with that? I, I flew in from New York yesterday. And at like 9 a.m., I took a nap, got back up at night, and started working. Oh, that's it. that's that's how it is. <laughs> you can grind at that hour. At my age, which again, I'm not revealing, you can't. So, <laughs> even if, never mind, I'm not going to get into that. So, anyhow, <laughs> all right. So we got to hear these tips. So, visual branding. Let's start off, both of you. What's your top tip? for let's pick instagram because that's okay. a super popular app right most people are on that one and they use that one what oh my god i'm getting stared at by the miller brothers right now <laughs> this is not creepy at all i wish you guys could see behind the scenes <laughs> anyways so i want to hear your top tips for instagram for making that feed look good but not just look good that's something that people actually want to engage with that's going to catch their attention it's going to pop it's going to make them want to pay attention to right. my stuff top tip go good graphics photography but what it's, makes a good graphic? Key. What makes a good graphic? A good designer. <laughs> okay, what makes, what makes a bad graphic? Not a good designer. Not a good designer. <laughs> All right. Well, honestly, with, with uh, I want, you know what? Let, let me leave this to Victor. Victor. I mean, look, to, to be honest, social media and, and if we're speaking about Instagram, it, it's constantly changing. So, I mean, graphic design is very important. Um, 
I think we should later talk about the engagement and 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 how that yes. works because without that your post won't reach anywhere. Right. But I mean, look, I'm a fan of very simple um, content when you're creating a graphic design. Mm-hmm. You know, not too wordy. You obviously can't word it too much on social media either. So if you want to boost it and whatnot, right, it has to be under a certain percentage. But as like Lewis was saying, photography is key in Instagram. So having professional photos done, good lighting, you know, um, trying to portray what you want to get across in an image, you know, mm-hmm. highlighting that. But great photography is good. That's the most difficult part to me. Yes, is photography. I don't understand <clears throat> lighting. I get my phone, which has like these incredible cameras these yeah, days. I'm trying to take, I'm like, no, this is not You got working. the iPhone 12, right? Whatever this is. I think so. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the 12. I think so. <laughs> yeah, I went and got, because I'm like, I'm a social media person and I have like this old school. No, you're so good. I had to go you, upgrade. No, 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 you're good. You got, I just yeah. got the brand new one like a couple months ago. <laughs> my clients were like, what is it? I had, I had the 10 and they were and like. Believe it or not, iPhones, these phones take great pictures. Yeah, you but when I mean? you're trying to take one of yourself. Okay, so like, how could I take better selfies? How can you take better selfies? How about you don't take selfies? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I would prefer not to. Look, right. I wish I didn't have to take a picture, it, it, period. It's the thing is, if you're using selfies for, for your Instagram f- for a business, yeah. I mean, yeah, no. the best, to me, the, the best content is the ones that you're not posing for. You know, like that's candid shots. Candid that's shots. It. Yeah. Candid shots are, are the best type of shots, you know, um, for social media, I think. Those are best. Yeah, I agree with you there. I would definitely agree with you there because people like to see. I think sometimes those like posed ones come off so stiff, right? Yeah. And so they want to get a feel for who you are. And sometimes that yes. can happen, like when you're in the moment and you're moving yes. or whatever it is. Um, unless you're like me and you're really animated, and then your photos are always blurred because <laughs> you don't stop moving. <laughs> people like people like to to know about the person, and like their background, their stories, or what they do. So they relate to a candid shot, you know, versus, you know. Posing, posing is great. Also, it depends right. what you're trying to promote. Right. But um, it, again, it depends. All right. I'm going to ask you for a favor. Yes. One of you. I want to demonstrate, really, really demonstrate what candid versus posed is. Posing? This is the okay, king so of posing right pose, now. Pose? He I, does yeah, great he content for that. So okay. if you're a model or hit something a pose like that. Right hit a pose? Hit a pose. Okay, that's a pose. <laughs> All right. Show, now show me something candid. What would be like a candid shot? Ooh, a candy Force shot. yourself to laugh about something and then just oh, look okay. away. So fake laugh. Yeah. Really fake, fake laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's our candid example. I hope this makes sense to everybody. We're getting a little silly today. Well, it's Monday. Why not? Right? Why take yourself so silly? So seriously. Be silly, I guess. Video. Yeah. Anyway. Videos. So video. Anything yeah, that let's moves talk on about the feed video. catches people's attention. Everybody wants to see what you're up to. <clears throat> right. You know, everybody wants to see what you're up to, what you're Which doing. Which people don't feel that way. That, right. I have clients all the time. No, Who cares what I'm doing? Nobody yeah. wants to see my face. No one wants to hear my voice. That's a lie. And that, that's where you get your highest engagement. Correct. Yeah. Month after yeah. month, it doesn't matter what industry you're in, product, service, it does not matter. Yeah. That's where we just see or the engagement is way higher, especially organically. Um, uh, in in my business, so we've been doing this for almost fifteen years now. Yeah. So, um, yes. so tell us about that. So let's talk about video. So we talked a little bit about candid versus posed shots. How candid seems to work pretty well. That mm-hmm. helps you get engagement. Uh, we talked a little bit about graphic design. We'll get back to that. Yes. So let's talk. What are your video tips? Other yeah. than hire you guys. <laughs> reels, reels are what's. I mean, reels, and you've been yeah. doing some very cool, creative like montage, like mm-hmm. st- static backgrounds with video in it. Yeah, like the yeah. one you posted. Like yesterday, um, I posted, and believe it or not, it was my first reel that I that I posted, and it was a uh, <clears throat> a little like a little experience of how I went in New York for me. Uh-huh. And in a matter of like <clears throat> ten minutes, I already had like nine hundred views. Yeah, reels is, is crazy. Yeah, reels is I think what's gonna hit right now. Yeah, right. You know, and there's there's a strategy behind that, right? So we're looking more at the growth of, and I've been reading, and you guys can correct me, but I've been reading and seeing that actually the, the 15 second video is where it's at. Yeah. So yeah. it's not people, yeah. oh, I'll do 30 second videos a minute. Yeah. Should I talk for five minutes? 15 seconds. Yeah. Cool. How do you accomplish what you wanna accomplish in 15 seconds? How do you guys help people do that? I mean, look, uh, to, to be honest, reels are a challenge. So as we were talking about different strategies with, with different clients is, you know, now people could post on their feed people could you know take pictures with their phone mm-hmm. but now it's been going to where reels is you're directing yeah you're transitioning content mm-hmm. there could be days of of video that you do chopped up into 15 seconds right you know yes you could do one in one sitting 
but again it's like directing like look there's like styles that i i feel like so, they're out there in the internet there's got to be like some like tip for like what is this called when they do this what is this called when they do this yeah yeah like different i mean it can take correct me if i'm wrong but like my experience and people think oh okay 15 second video no big deal but i'm like actually those are the hardest videos to create it can take like two hours to do a 15 second no and and like to 30 second reel right because especially if you're piecing together content music music and the sound that goes with it is very important too it took me like i think five tries before I got it. <laughs> yeah. Cause then I'll, I'll post it. Ah, oh, I forgot the music. Oh, I forgot the, yeah. No, it takes, a, it takes like a while. It's, it's practice. Editing. Yeah. 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 That, and know? that's what I think makes mm. that so challenging. So if you're going to use something like reels, which is similar to like TikTok videos, um, like stories, but a little bit more, uh, on steroids, I guess you could say, yeah. um, if you're familiar with that, cause a lot of our audiences are, you know, basic, basic skills. But um, th- yeah, that's really the challenge is that it, it takes a lot of time in planning. Um, Correct. You can easily do something easy that you could do is, is if you can answer a frequently asked question about your service in 15 seconds, that's an easy way yeah. to to create a reel, right? It doesn't mean you necessarily have to go and like produce this thing with like the captions and like the, I'm snapping my finger and now I'm in a different outfit, yeah, right? Yeah, like those, more complex. Yes, those are way more complex, but you can definitely achieve it. Yeah. Yeah. In those 15 second videos, 100%, right? Yes. Right. So, all right. So, um, first of all, before we continue, what is this this defense tea Ooh, thing that you brought? Defense tea. So, defense tea is a natural, <laughs> natural, organic tea. Okay. Um, okay. It's actually from one of our clients. Very. Good. Um, very can you please try it? You got to try it on on. on. Uh, I I would love to, <laughs> and I will try it and make a video for you later. I cannot try it now because I do intermittent fasting and my window has oh, not opened yet. Mm. So they're natural teas. They're, they're really good. Sorry. It's funny. But, look, but I look at the ingredients. Water. I'm not a nutritionist, obviously, <laughs> but water, dried elderberries, honey, organic beetroot powder and sorrel. That's it. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Because a lot of times you pick up these natural. No, these, these are, nat- this is natural. These natural things at Whole Foods and yeah. I'm like sorbic no, no. acid, yellow food. What? I'm very picky <laughs> when it comes to that, you know, but these these teas are incredible. Um, it's funny. We, we actually just did a, a, a video for them, too, uh-huh. because we create content for them. So but the teas so they're are one of incredible. Your clients, they are one of our clients. It's yes. not just something that you Saranda, love and that you're, you're getting watching. paid to wrap. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Free publicity. <laughs> You can thank your boys over here. So, all right. So we have some tips for candid versus post shots. We talked a little bit about videos, reels. Um, when someone's going to come do a photo and video shoot with you guys, right. what are the things that you ask in order to know how do I make this video and this photo shoot hit home so that it matches their branding, their personality, their messaging, their so, voice, their vision, all these things. So how do you do that? So for example, I'll give you a perfect example. Um, the trip, um, that I just had that it was in New York. It was, I flew down there for a photo shoot mm-hmm. for one of our artists. Um, what I usually do is I have them choose three outfits, correct? Three outfits that um, they think will look good. They send it to me. I look at them. We'll go over them. Smart. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to do this, by the way. I, yeah, we I have to. I need a photo yes. and video shoot. So um, th- that's what I did, <laughs> you know? So they, they, came to, uh, they came to my hotel. We put uh, all their clothes on the bed, and then that's how I look. All right, uh-huh. so this style is for this, this style is for that. Um, for example, for her, um, one of the outfits, we did it in Times Square. Mm-hmm. Then another outfit, we went to um, Central Park. Uh, the other outfit, we went to Bryant Park. Another one by the Empire State. Uh, but you guys help people pick outfits. To me, yes. The most intimidating part yes, we, is I don't know what to wear that's well, she, going to look good. We're speaking about Tori. She's a, a uh, an artist, like a painter, uh-huh. and she's very behind the scenes. Yeah. Right. Like she only puts up her art. Right. But, like there was a point we didn't know if it was a male or female. Correct. Behind uh, this. And now she's like, okay, she reached out to Wolf Clan and she's like, look, I need to put my image out as well. So we're 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 not only doing her branding for like her logo, which was created with Wolf Clan, we're creating her image, her brand mm-hmm. as well. So it our, definitely is important. Our, our main focus is to to help our clients grow their brand. Right. You know what I mean? And then it's either from doing uh promo videos to photography to managing their social media to Events events to helping them you know with their style mm-hmm. like i have a dj that that we manage and, and for example with him he doesn't like to post on social media yeah so i have to be on him and tell him yeah 
Joey, by the way, if you're watching, Joey, Sorry, Joey, Joey tracks, I'm putting out. you on the spot. <laughs> um, you know, we, we like to help our clients, you know, with their style too, because believe right. it or not, style is, it's, it's very right now important and key. Mm -hmm. People like to see you well dressed. They want to see yeah. that on social media. Well, they want to see your personality. They want right? to see your personality. I mean, Correct. I mean, sometimes I'll take like really silly photos and my hair is a hot mess and they turn out fine. People are like, okay, that's still misty because <laughs> I mean, half the time I'm a mess. I'm just not going to lie. Like, it's just, it right. is what it is. I'm busy working. I'm not worried about my hair, you know? But, um, but sometimes, yeah, you want those professional Correct. looking photos where um because believe yeah. it or believe it or not that's like for example for djs that's that's what's going to get them gigs i mean look not not only for djs mm -hmm. i i think one of the and here's like a little insider thing so wolf clan you know wolves usually travel in packs right so one of the i think the strongest that um, um features that wolf clan has is we're really good at creating packages mm -hmm. so Every business needs a, a package. So if someone's out there listening to like, okay, what do I need to do social media, do some stuff, consistency and a routine. So right. you should start with your own package. Like I'm gonna post once a week a feed um, and then once a month, I'm gonna do a reel mm -hmm. and attempt to do that. Mm -hmm. Once they get in that routine, you know, they could then travel to right. two post a week right. or something like that. I agree with you. We always we, say start small. Yeah. yeah, we offer that to our clients. So we tell them, look, we're going to create you a package. That's this is what we're going to do. And from there we transition and either we try to teach them and they learn how they could start mm -hmm. doing more of it themselves because right. um, more is better. I love that. So you guys do products. You work with DJs. What other kind of businesses do you work with? Restaurants, barbershops, attorneys, attorneys. Okay. Um, we're, we're also now getting into the entertainment. Yeah. Right. Um, entertainment, um, manage artists, um, as well as, uh, what else do we do? We do a lot of stuff. <laughs> I mean, I look, you do a lot of stuff. I see that photography. Yeah. I, I don't think there's a client that we've ever turned away, yeah. you know? Um, so we, we pretty much could cater to any business. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So visual branding, Canva is really big right now, right? Really popular. I'm not going to lie. We use that a lot in for designs in for designs for graphic design we use that a lot we do <laughs> um because it's it's simple yeah. right so if somebody doesn't necessarily they're just starting out right and a lot of our viewers might be just starting out or they might be more of like in a diy type of a space so canva is a good option for yes. them so what are some design mistakes to avoid you mentioned too much text which i agree with yeah. right not just for boosting and <clears throat> advertising purposes but just no one's probably going to read all of that yeah. right what are some other some other mistakes to avoid if you're doing a diy graphic for social media i, I think uh, motion flyers are actually very popular too mm -hmm. motion flyer something you know that like that's something that moves something that yeah. moves uh-huh because it catches the like a sticker the, Correct. Uh -huh. It catches the client's attention. Right. Like he like he mentioned text. I, when I scroll down Instagram and I see something with a lot of text, I just keep going. I don't right. wanna, I don't want to read. Right. I want to I want to see. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So uh, I think a motion flyer would be um, pretty cool, too. A motion, as well. flyer, yeah. motion flyers. Yeah, those yes. are good. OK. And like so other than text, like what are other design mistakes that you see people make? Hmm. So let's see, Victor, maybe you can answer that since you're the. <laughs> I mean, again, I, I, I think I think from from a standpoint of of design, it, it, it's I mean, I think if we role play, like, what are you trying to advertise is, mm -hmm. is what you're saying, because if you're an influencer and it's so your organic content, <laughs> it's just organic stuff. Right. If you are promoting a brand like this, I would just put the logo down in the bottom right and I'll be talking more about the. The product right. showing the product. Right. You know, stuff like that. Right. But sometimes you don't even need to put a logo. You just make sure you focus on this and then blur yourself right. in the background yeah. and that's a great shot there right you know and then well a lot of people though like so for instance we try to get creative i'll give you an example in our agency so sometimes we're trying to draw traffic to a blog post right because okay. it has really good content in there it's answering a question or it's fulfilling a need and we want to share that on instagram it's not as easy to do that blog post because you can't share links in the captions and so we'll create a graphic that's about the blog post so what would you do in that kind of situation? I would just put the, make sure the blog post has a very exciting title. Uh huh. And I would get a picture that res resonates to that blog post and then I would put the title yeah. right there. So it's something like very catchy, yeah, like perfect. how to make a million dollars in one hour. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, now I'm going to go to the bio and take the time to tap exactly, the link exactly. and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I love that. I love that idea because people, I think, 
again, we're thinking about like, not just everybody has this, this budget. Sometimes they want to do things on their own or they have a staff that they can do it. And so these are tips that um, I think are going to really help yeah. some people who are trying to figure out, okay, I do want to actually bring more content to this, or we want an award or whatever it is. Mm. Um, maybe we don't have an exciting photo of it, but I think having to your point, um, a wide variety of photos and maybe even doing it like what, what's a quarter doing a photo shoot so that you have like a stock of yeah, photos exactly. of yourself and your team so that you can say, okay, I'm going to go, um, create this post. I need a photo for this. Let me go grab from my file. Yeah. Exactly. Look for, for creative. It's like, if you could highlight one word in that design, that's the mm -hmm. thing. So like, I'll give you a good example, mm -hmm. giveaways. Wow. So when someone does a giveaway on social media, you always see giveaway all caps big. Right. Because it's catchy. So whatever your blog's about, your business or your sale, mm -hmm. try to always keep it to one word big as right. far as graphic if you're going to put a lot of text, you know, and that's it. And then the photo. Yeah. Very cool. I love it. Very good tip. So we are actually quickly running out of time. Ooh, that's it. That was I know, quick. I know. Wow. We're, almost, we're almost there. So what are some last minute tips that you guys have and how can people contact you? So you guys could uh, follow us on uh, Wolf Clan Media. Uh, also, uh, my Instagram is Luis Miguel Barrios underscore and Victor Goza, and right? Goza. IG handle. Um, you guys could also check us out on Facebook. I think we're on Facebook as well under Wolf Clan Media. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, feel free to DM us any questions. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll be more we'll, than happy to absolutely. give you any advice. I think I think one of the last tips that, that we get is consistency. Mm -hmm. Social media is all about oh, yes. consistency. Yeah. You can't yes. let off because yeah. now with the algorithm, like if you just stop doing what you're doing, it'll show it to less people. Mm -hmm. So the more you post, the better. Right. So, yeah, we agree. So I'm missing since 2008, we say we got three C's of social media marketing, content, conversation, consistency, and someone recently proposed a fourth, which is creativity. And yeah. I would agree with that. So we'll bump it up to four C's. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so I want to thank you guys for being here today. You, you guys have questions. You need photos. You need graphics. You need videos. These are the guys to see. They've been in the game for a while. As you can see, they know what they're talking about. Um, definitely want to go with you guys about my own photo shoot yes. and video shoot of what I don't know yet, but we'll <laughs> figure it out. I feel like I need it. Uh, if you need art. I'm your guy. And art. What kind of art? So I do acrylic on canvas, but I paint pretty much anything. So but you can be like commissioned. I'm all commissioned right now. Wow. Yeah. Also very Victor good Gosa on Instagram. Yeah, by the way, I, I own like five paintings. Yeah, he has a gallery. In I have a gallery in my you apartment. The, the Victor Gosa, Gosa gallery, gallery in my apartment. Yes. Yes. Do you host like wine and cheese events or something? Oh, we could do it. We definitely. Should, we could do that. Let's definitely do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thanks again. We want to thank um, Defense T for you're not really a sponsor of the show, but we'll just say thanks for, for being here because you're kind of here too. Diego, we missed you, man. Hope you're having a good time in LA. I want to thank Lewis and I want to thank Victor for being my guest today. We'll see you next week for another Marketing Monday. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments, contact me directly. Or if you have something you want to add to the conversation, you want to be a guest on the show, please feel free to reach out to me as well. So I hope you guys have an awesome week and we will see you again next week for another Marketing Monday. Thanks again, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.